as I shared with you last night, we're just going to pick only one verse per night to shed light on this verse and hopefully this verse will help us grasp the entire message of the part that we are going to listen to shortly. So inshallah we will be listening shortly from Allah's words, Surah Al-Hijr, Surah number 15, and Surah An-Nahl, Surah, uh, uh, surah number relevant to our text. Those of you who recite Surah Al-Hijr, Surah number 15, will easily discover that the theme of the Surah talks about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being Al-Hafiz. Al-Hafiz means what? Al-Hafiz. The protector. The protector. And this is one of the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the protector. And so many times we say, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. So it reminds us that Allah is the protector. The verse that I chose is verse number 9, chapter number 15. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna nahnu nazzalna al-dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. Inna nahnu nazzalna al-dhikra, meaning the Quran, we revealed the Quran, the remembrance, and surely we are going to protect it. Wa inna lahu lahafizun. So it matches and it protects everything. Allah is the protector. Now, we as Muslims believe that Allah is the protector. But one thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to understand, and it is being hammered in this surah over and over, that as human beings, we believe that Allah is the protector. But we have to seek the proper means to achieve the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Qur'an that He is the one who revealed the Qur'an and He is going to protect it, do we have any doubts that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to protect it? We don't have any doubts. But this protection was made available for this ummah through so many hearts and minds, millions and millions who are not Arabs, who might not speak a word of Arabic, but have memorized the entire Quran from cover to cover. That we, across Muslim history, we have witnessed all the great Qurra reciters of the Qur'an and the Mufassireen of the Qur'an were non-Arabs. As a matter of fact, who is leading us in Taraweeh? People who are not Arabs. But Alhamdulillah, they are better than Arabs. Through this honor, through this gift which is the Qur'an, what I am saying to you, my dear brothers and sisters, is that the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is made accessible to us through human efforts. One time, a man came to the Prophet sallallahu We know this hadith and we always cite it. So he came to the Prophet sallallahu with his she-camel. And he asked the Prophet ﷺ, should I tie my camel or rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and let it loose? So what did the Prophet ﷺ say? He said, 
Huh? Ta- this is the human effort. This is the human endeavor. And then put your trust on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what we have to do, my dear brothers and sisters. Allah is the protector, but we do our part. We make sure that as a human effort, we do our part. My dear brothers and sisters, I was one of the few people who visited New Zealand after the deadly attack on the invitation of the Imam there, Imam Jamal Fuda, who's actually one of my students. I taught him at the university in 2008 and 2009. So he sent me an invitation and as you know those of you who have gone to Australia or New Zealand it is very far but I was willing to undertake the journey to see how Muslims are doing after the deadly attack. So he received me and actually the Prime Minister also was talking about what happened and we could not visualize this horrible, horrific attack. So one of the things he confided with me, he said that we as a community, because we felt that we are very far from the craziness of terror attacks and what not, we thought that we are sick. And we actually did not do our homework. This is just a conversation between me and uh, Sheikh Jamal. And he actually raised this issue in one of the management meetings a few years back. But, uh, you know, uh, New Zealand is a safe place. So they did not worry so much about this uh, security arrangement. So I told him that this was planned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing in this universe happens except with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this is a lesson for everybody. This is a wake-up call that we should do our homework. We should do our human efforts. And then we rest assured that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the real protector. So so many horrific things that happen to us We, as Muslims, should be the ones who come forward and say, how can I help in these difficult times? So the brothers here, as the sunnah of every year, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward the brothers and sisters who put these projects together every year to secure some funds for this beautiful masjid. So 